congratulations on your ASC award nomination. Uh, you. you know, you've shot uh, four episodes of season five, including, you know, your nominated ninth episode. Uh, and I'd love to just talk about your journey coming on to the show and, um, you know, what really drew you to to working on it. Well, the journey was, you know, very different. Uh, I I have a rent a house, a film rent a house in Costa Rica. I'm originally from Costa Rica. And Snowfall season three, they were going to Costa Rica to shoot some scenes. So the local producer from Costa Rica, he asked me to come so I can welcome them to the rent a house and I can talk to them about all the equipment. So I, that's where I met John Singleton, John uh, Labu, Dave Fander and all like the producers. They came to my shop. We were chatting in my shop and I was showing them, you know, what we have available in the country. and. John Labu was like, dude, I, <laughs> you should work with us. You know, he was like, what, will you come to operate or do so second unit in, in Costa Rica? And that's pretty much how everything started. Um, I was a camera operator here in Costa Rica for the Costa Rican unit. And I did a little bit of the second unit also in Costa Rica. And then when I, we all went back to uh, Los Angeles and through the season three, I came to do uh, some C camera operating for the whole season three. Um, when season four came, they asked me uh, if I would come as a second unit cinematographer. So I was working under Elio Rocket and uh, Maddox, Thomas mm -hmm. Maddox. And I was pretty much working, you know, both, both of them uh, episodes. That was an amazing experience because you know they both have their own look, their own way of work, and I was doing the second unit, so you know I was trying to match. In one episode, I was trying to match what Elliot was doing, and in the other episode, I was trying to match what Maddox was doing, and it was pretty amazing because I learned from both of them mm -hmm. uh, the look of it. You know, so that season four was was definitely uh, a very special season for me. Because yeah. uh, you know, I got to to really digest and learn the look of Snowfall through the two cinematographers. Um, season five, and that's the season that um, after season four, Maddox and Elliot they took off, and um, well, Elliot came to do two episodes, and then he took off. I I took the position of Maddox at that time, so. That was pretty, um, you know, pretty amazing. That was my first television show for a studio um, where I was the lead cinematographer. Wow, so congratulations. Really <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, it was pretty amazing because, you know, coming as an operating and then, you know, I was at DP already, but I started on, a, on a Snowfall as an operator. Then they gave me the opportunity in second unit. I think because I was studying so much to be able to deliver each of the cinematographer's uh, vision. Um, that's where, you know, Gigi from FX and John Labu and Dave Andrew and all the producers kind of like agree of, you know, I was kind of like that easy, um, easy, I don't know, diving cinematographer for season five. Lucky enough that that was the season, uh, you know, episode nine was the, the episode that he got nominated. Yeah, and um, and literally, I just one week ago, I just wrapped the final season of Snowfall, the wow. season six. So wow. it's premiering in in two weeks. to start premiering, so it's pretty. It's a lot of things going on. It's pretty amazing. Yeah, that's really amazing. The fact that you've had this journey with the show for several years and kind of worked your way up through it. Uh, and, you know, already got to really see that whole sense of like what the show was about totally and aesthetically before you came in to just, uh, you know, be a main DP. That's that's a really exciting path uh, to get to have gone on with the show. Um, and that's amazing then that your first, uh, you know, series that you were like the head DP on, then you get nominated for that work. That's that's really amazing. Um, yeah, I mean, I'd love to talk about episode nine and, you know, what made it special? What were some of the challenges? What are you proud of uh, accomplishing with that episode? Well, you know, it is a very, 
I've been thinking about it and it's very special because episode nine, I treated very different than the previous uh, episode that I shot in season five. Um, by, by the end of season five, a lot of, of the stories like start like really planting all the seeds for season six. We already knew we will have season six and that was the final season. Mm -hmm. So that kind of helped also to, well, at least for me, like in terms of like what I was trying to create, I was trying to create a, like a transition at the end of season five to the beginning of season six. And episode nine was the first episode that I, uh, you know, pretty much experiment because that's what I did really on episode nine. I was like, well, you know what? I'm going to try a different uh, camera language, a different lighting language. I was trying to find, a, trying to give the characters because, you know, in season six, I cannot say much, it's coming up, but there's a lot of characters, uh, you know, that we all look into where they're going to end. Mm -hmm. And I want to give uh, a very special ending to all of them. Right. So I was to experiment, uh, you know, really playing with some of the different camera language for different characters. Uh, the lighting also, I, the lighting on the episode nine is very different than the previous um, episodes on the same season. That was kind of like the lighting that I was looking to go for the next uh, season six. So I think it's very special and it is, it's amazing that, you know, through through this whole experimentation and uh, me planting this seed for the next season, <laughs> that's the episode that it really looks, you know, or it, it really got uh, this nomination and this, uh, um, I don't know what to say. Yeah, I mean, it it's is, nice it, it is for me. Continue, sorry. It's, it's a special, uh, it's a very special episode. And also my director, like I remember talking to her, Karina and, she was totally on board with me, like trying to find something special for that episode. Because yeah. for me, it was like the planting the seed for the finale. I was like trying to look a little bit ahead and trying to make something different in the final uh, episodes of season five. So that was, a, you know, that was a very special episode for me. Yeah, that's amazing that you were able to kind of switch things up and, and uh, you know, have some creative latitude and that that really paid off. Um, you know, what are some of the ways specifically that you were changing up the the lighting and the way that you were shooting? Um, well, previous episodes, I was like, we, the show, we, you know, it's, it's always kind of like dark and very contrasty. Uh, we used to use more of the, you know, LED soft lighting with some diffusion and I remember in episode nine, I was like, well, what if I just start using more of a hard lighting, mm. you know, start choosing like uh, my units instead of having a LED, I mean, instead of having a LED that is soft, I started using some of the tungsten lighting or HMIs or something that it was a little more, you know, old school lighting, different quality of lighting, definitely. And yeah, start, it immediately started giving me a little more um, texture and more contrast. And it was a little more, I don't know, maybe more dramatic and intense mm -hmm. uh, in terms of just changing the lighting picture. Yeah. Um, then I started also like shifting, like we used to do a lot of colors and, you know, it's kind of like we have different palettes for different storylines. But then I had this idea of like, what about if we just do like a jewelry, right? Because this is, we became, in episode nine or in that whole season, you know, Franklin is the king of the, the whole uh, cocaine world. But then also like Aunt Louis, she started becoming like the queen of it. So there was a lot of like a uh, royalty that just came from like my um, own um, perception. Uh -huh. <laughs> I was thinking like, well, what if I start playing with some jewelry color, you know, like some some colors that are a lot more complex. So yeah. uh, Uki, uh, my dimmer board, oh, I start talking to her and I started, hey, we actually found this beautiful, like a jewelry color wheel. And I start talking to her like, hey, can we just start getting like more to, towards this uh, stone or this other stone? And I start giving 
each character a little bit of a a stone in my uh -huh. own planet. Uh, and it really started working out, you know, then it's really yeah. looking different. It's, it still looks snowfall, but it was completely more complex in terms of the color change, uh, the color uh, contrast and the color palette. So I think that started working, start working and I start feeling it on episode nine, which we took it to a whole next level on season six, definitely. Uh -huh. um, and then also the camera language. You know, I started trying to work like, you know, there's some storyline that we kind of knew was going down and then other storylines were going up. Uh, so I started playing with a little bit of, uh, you know, lens, like a focal length of the lenses, you know, sometimes we will use something that it was more wide and closer. So we are more intimate on the character. Uh, depending on the character will be also, you know, in a different and the opposite will be with a much longer lens and also like very um, stressful frame. The camera work, you know, we, we are, it's a show that they love camera, you know, we, yeah. we play with the camera, we, it's a language of a different camera. Yeah. And then we start, I start adding like, you know, let's just have this uh, character or this storyline being more into like the hang hill and more playful. And then other storylines to be a little more subtle and a little more, uh, I don't know, more royal, more uh, composed. And, yeah. and that was little, and, and that was at, at that time, episode nine was just an experiment. <laughs> Yeah. I was like just with all this to see what works and what doesn't work you know also with flares who we love flares so I was thinking like one of all our characters I would like to give flares to some of them who have mm. life hope you know so we start playing with that like some of them they would never have a flare mm -hmm. some of them will have a very unique flare mm -hmm. as well I mean to the point that even the eye light I remember like uh, the CIA agent uh i never gave him an eye like you know mm. it's like he was kind of like down and i start playing with who has a future who has this uh life and mm. i was i will give uh, or give him or her an eye like and whoever was in the darker uh moment of that story i was just not giving an eye like and it's just those little details will right i feel like it's Everybody start feeling a different, um, a different show. You know, it's, a, it's, it's kind of like going to the end, and that's kind of what I was trying to plant the seed. Was we're coming to the end, and now we're just going to different directions on this show. I mean, that's really exciting to have a kind of a, an aesthetic evolution, uh, you know, and and have the cinematography kind of highlight the direction that the show's headed and, you know, evolve over the the course of the show as well. And, and it's great that, you know, you were in an environment where you wanted to play around with these things and you were given the opportunity to do so. Uh, that's always really incredible. Um, yeah, I mean, what does this nomination mean to you? What's it like to be nominated? <laughs> oh, boy, this is, uh, this is a dream. This is, uh, I mean, I'm still dreaming about it. I, I feel like, you know, I'm uh, I'm from Costa Rica and uh, I moved to Los Angeles 17 years ago. I, all my life, I have all these dreams of being in Hollywood and, you know, the ASC has been a whole dream since 26 years ago when I started reading the magazine in Costa Rica. Um, and you know, I dream all day long and all night. And this nomination is actually is a dream, and a dream that you know. Every time people ask me, like I'm, I'm actually right now living my dream. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's how I feel. It is, uh, it is a dream that I always wanted or I always project in my life. And right now, I am in my own dream. And this is, uh, you know, this is very beautiful because it's, for me to be from Costa Rica, also, you know, it's the, the, the first uh, DP from Central America to be nominated. Mm -hmm. And 
this nomination just bring a lot of hope and it make dream, you know, make other cinematographers to dream like I do. And mm -hmm. also to show that if you dream and you, you know, work hard for your dreams, dreams will come through. So mm -hmm. for me, it's like a very beautiful, um, it's a very beautiful door it opens to my, uh, to my country and to the whole Central America. So I'm very, very honored to be nominated and, you know, and to also to know that they all come through, you know, it, it, this is, yeah. uh, this, this is a perfect example that something, I think it came before I even thought, you know, I, I thought like maybe in the future, this was, this was my first episode, or my, my first show. Yeah. <laughs> So I was like, well, you know, eventually maybe my, I don't know, after 10 days shows or so, I will maybe get there, but yeah. oh my God, get it, get the nomination on my first uh, TV show. It's, uh, it's, it's unbelievable. I'm just so happy. Are there any of your fellow nominees, both for shows or uh, features that you just found the work very inspiring to you creatively this year that you'd like to give a shout out to? Well, I have to say, I've seen, I don't know how many times, uh, The Batman. Mm -hmm. uh, it actually was, uh, I have to say, the work that, you know, Greg Fraser did on Batman inspired me to do some stuff on the Snowfall Season 6. Oh, wow. <laughs> I love that look. I love that show. Yeah. And I love his work. And The Batman, it, it it gave me a lot of inspiration because, you know, the Snowfall is also becoming darker and the way that he worked on Batman and how he lighted, I think it's just, uh, it's epic. It's a stunning work. So I'm, you know, probably, I hope to, to see him, you know, getting uh, the prize. Um, you know, I love also Elvis. I think since I did a period piece with the Snowfall, mm -hmm. I do appreciate a lot the, the beautiful work that Mandy did on yeah. this. It is stunning how she was able to to bring us bring us all back to that period. Yeah. I mean, it's also like a very, very beautiful uh, film. So those two are like, you know, my 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 favorites and I love them. Yeah. And I hope all the best. And Jaime also, well, Jaime Reynoso, who is in my group. Yeah. Uh, met him last year at the ASC and he was nominated and he was also nominated um, against the Snowfall season four with Maddox. And, you know, and now we are nominated together and that's an honor to be nominated next to him. Yeah, so absolutely. Cool.